Woman involved in the scandal with Democratic Senate candidate Cal Cunningham now saying they were intimate together at his home right here in North Carolina. New text messages obtained by the Associated Press show she told a friend about the encounter. Our reporter Michael Highland has new details about the affair. Because here in North Carolina, the truth still matters. The relationship between Democratic Senate candidate Cal Cunningham and Arlene Guzman Todd went beyond text messages, she says. The Associated Press obtained new texts she sent a friend saying the two were intimate in his home and called that weird. Cunningham is married with two kids. In an interview, Arlene Guzman Todd said the two met in person twice, once in California in March, which was not intimate, and again in July here in North Carolina, which was. In the new texts to a friend, she threatened to send naked pictures to Cunningham's opponent, Republican Senator Tom Tillis. That will teach him, she wrote. She also wrote, you don't deserve me, Cal. And in another, he knows that I can tank his campaign. She told the AP she was sorry about the pain and embarrassment the situation has caused. She said the relationship lasted several months and consisted of texts and that in-person encounter. National File first published a series of texts between the two last week, but details of the relationship were unclear. In a statement at the time, Cunningham apologized. His campaign has not responded to specific questions since then, and Cunningham has not spoken publicly. In his first interview with us since he tested positive for COVID-19 last week, Senator Tillis called on Cunningham to answer questions about the relationship. Cal Cunningham at the debate last week said uh, this race is about integrity, and I agree. I think Cal Cunningham owes everybody, the voters, his friends, supporters, a full explanation. A spokesman for Cunningham's campaign did not comment on the latest developments, but did say he is staying in the race. In Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.